What's up, Lindsay? Hello? What's there up? There you are. You're on. Oh, oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> hey. Oh, my God. It's, it's awesome that I'm talking to you guys. hey <laughs> You too. What's happening? It, it feels like... <laughs> okay, so this is not a happy topic, but I'm happy right now. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <I'm... laughs> Excellent. Excellent. What's up? Sorry. I'm just excited. Um, I We are getting sued, all right? Me and my husband, we are getting sued by the credit card company. Ooh, yeah. okay? so... I can feel you smiling as you're saying the words, <laughs> so we're getting sued. <laughs> yes, we are getting sued. Not a great time, but, you know, God says joy in, you know, the hardness. I don't know how, but we are. But anyways, I am a mess. I don't know where to go from here. Uh, we've made this hole for ourselves pretty deep. I know Dave Ramsey. I've done the book. I've done financial peace with my husband. He's not always on board. He did not read the book, but I read the book. All right. I am struggling. We don't have, we're not on baby step one at all. We're not on any baby steps. We're getting sued. I talked to a lawyer. He, we're paying a lawyer. I'm just, I'm frazzled. I don't know where to go from here, biblically, spiritually, Dave Ramsey-ly. Okay, I want to stop you there. First thing is, I want you to take as deep a breath as humanly possible, as deep as you can. I want you to hold it, okay? Hold it for one, two, three. Exhale. Let it out. Now, I want you to take your elbows, and I want you to Pull them towards the floor so your shoulders are super far away from your ears. Okay. Okay? Pull them all the way down. Here's my promise. The sun's going to come up and y'all are going to be on, uh, on the other side of this. Okay? Okay. It'll be a mess to get through it. That's all good. I've been through messes. Jade's been through messes. We all go through messes. You will come out on, on the other side of this. Cool? Yeah. That's my promise. I believe it. Okay. So, how big? Oh, and before we get into the, into the details, no more talking bad about my friend Lindsay. Fair. Yes. We're done. Fair. Have you done stupid stuff? All the time. Okay, that's it. Me too. Me too. The only thing we can do is work on moving forward. But if you carry that around, you know the difference between guilt and shame? The the difference between guilt and shame is this. Guilt, you do something dumb. You you borrowed a bunch of money that you didn't have, and then all of a sudden the debts come due, and you don't have the money to pay it, and somebody sues you. And you're holding this cinder block, and you're holding it. That's guilt. That was dumb. Your body's telling you it's dumb. Your friends tell you it's dumb. The banker tells you it's dumb. It was dumb. Shame is when you put that sucker in your backpack and you say, I'm dumb, and you're not. Okay, I want you to sure. stop. You sure? I, yeah, I'm positive. I'm positive. <laughs> okay, we, I wouldn't be doing this if I thought everyone who made mistakes were mistakes themselves. Okay. Okay, I would. I would be doing something else with my life. My, that's my promise. Okay, so we can dig into the numbers, but I want you to make sure you're with me full on that this is not an unsalvageable mess. Okay, and notice I don't even know what the numbers are, but I'm sitting next <laughs> to a woman who paid off almost half a million dollars of a hole. Me and my wife okay. paid off um, six figures of a humongous hole. So I know us two, and it, well, Jade and Sam are brilliant and smart. Me and my wife aren't. Stop that. Okay? <laughs> so we can do it. Oh, actually, my wife's pretty smart. I was going to say, yeah. don't put Sheila into this. She's pretty smart. <laughs> She's pretty smart. But all I have to say is you're good, okay? We squared up. Now, let's get into the numbers part of it. So how much are we looking at for the credit card debt that you're being sued for? So um, there might be three lawsuits, but right now there's two. Okay. Um, for sure, two is 12000 like 700 and some change. Okay. And the second one is 4000 and like 300 and some change. And they're both in different courts because of the amount. But Okay. So I'm, I'm, we were able to settle it in the very beginning when we weren't able to pay and mm -hmm. we had the money, kind of, sort of. We could have borrowed from a, a, from a family member. But um, honestly, I think pride got in the way. And we were just like, why are, why are we paying them? We've been paying them for years, and it's, it hasn't gone down very much. 
Mm-hmm. And you, you get in that hole of like credit cards are evil, but it's not like we didn't know, right? It's not like you didn't know that they charged interest. So sure. I don't know. I think, but sometimes people don't understand exactly how it's accumulating. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so we just, we actually had 16 different types of debts um, since 2015. And I, and my husband had paid them off one by one Great. through the snowball. Great. And how, how we much were down you, to three. How much have you paid off, Lindsay? Um, like maybe around in total, probably around sixty thousand. Come on, that's incredible. Very good. <sighs> incredible. <laughs> You're at the finish line. You got three left. Hey. Well, we made mistakes with the three left. The that, three left is like who cares. I think you're focusing more on the what you're perceiving as a loss than you are on all the wins that you've had along the way. And by the way, let's cut to it. Are, are you getting sued? Has an attorney contacted you, or did you get one of those letters Come from on. somebody saying they're representing such and such credit card? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure. Well, I got it from the county. The county person came to my door. Okay, okay that's a suit. And then I yeah. felt dumb. <laughs> that all was right. for real. I was like, you're. Yeah, Look, it's a real one. Yeah, these that's the, a real one. These are the last three you've got left. They're suing you. Okay, you've paid off sixty thousand dollars. This is great. What? How much money are you working with every month that you're putting into your snowball? Um. Well, that's where you. That's why I called because <laughs> there's nothing. We've been, we've been reckless. We've been acting like we've been debt free, kind of. Um, All right, let's, let's do this. This is an important call, Lindsay, and there's millions of Americans going through this. I'm going to hold you over to the break. Before the break, you said you and your husband have just kind of been messing around, just kind of making dumb decisions. Tell me more about that. Uh, do I have? I'm just kidding. Um, mostly, honestly, when I do my budgeting, we don't stick to our budget. That's our biggest thing is we don't stick to the budget and then fun things happen or people invite us places and we say sure but then i look at the budget and i'm like we really shouldn't do that but then we don't stick to the budget and we're like that's fine fine." i have a question i have a question and i might be being a little hard on you um no no go ahead i'm used to it i I just am like what is more is it gonna take you're getting sued like what what type no. of situation you you I mean clearly you already had lots of debt so you felt the weight of that you felt some of the freedom from getting out beneath under uh, from beneath that debt um yeah. the minute you kind of let your foot off the gas you're over here you I think you said you had three uh debts left and you're getting sued yeah. what I I need, I'm struggling to understand how that's not enough to make you go oh wake up call like we need to just finish this out and we need to, I'm trying to understand why there wasn't a behavior shift there. I think honestly, to be honest, I don't like to shift blame anywhere, right? Just to mm-hmm. myself because mm-hmm. I can only control myself. Sure. But in my marriage, um, one person <laughs> didn't agree with the Ramsey. One person um, who shall remain, remain nameless. Nameless, right? And un- unidentified, right? Okay. Um, he didn't agree with the whole Dave Ramsey mindset. He didn't agree with the, you need a credit score. You need a credit card. Did like, you? You need this. And I'm like, uh, no, I was just like, no, you, you don't. You don't need any of that. You just need cash. Cash is like literally king. That's all you need. So we you're attributing up. this to you and your husband not being on the same page, basically. Yes, I think that was the biggest thing that was the hardest was we weren't on the same page because he just didn't see it. He didn't read it. He didn't experience so, it. Like I, He went to Financial Peace University and he was with the idea, but when it came to actually doing it, he wasn't with it, you know? So John is going to talk to you about that. Um, let me give you just a quick takeaway from this being sued situation. Um, you're yeah. going to get sued and you may have to go to court if you can't get them to settle with you ahead of time. My guess yeah. is, because I know you've paid off $60,000 of debt, you probably have the money to clear the 4000 One of the debts is $4,300. You can probably pay yeah. that this month. It's That money is laying around somewhere. I know it is. It's in your budget. You guys, you, you guys need to look at the budget and get that thing settled. Call them up, say, hey, we'll give yeah. you... 2000 we have it in cash settle it same thing with the one that's for 12700 settle, settle it for pennies on the dollar dimes on the dollar and get free of that yeah. what how much is the third debt 
Um, the third check, I don't remember. I think it's around the five or six thousand dollar mark. They haven't sent us really any letters. They defaulted it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, they so it's just in default. Collection agency. So we're let's. Yeah. There, there's three debts left. It's the debt snowball, smallest to largest. So we're going to do the four thousand three hundred dollar one because the other one is in judgment. We're going to go ahead and do that one and then clear out the five thousand dollar one. Okay. You guys have the money okay. in the margin to do this, but. And John's going to talk to you about this. It's not a, it's not a magic trick, right? You guys understand you have to put in the work. So if they make a judgment yeah. against you, it's literally just going to be a, yet another set of people telling you you have to pay this, right? So we don't want it yeah. to get that far. It's already, gonna, you know, your credit's destroyed and that doesn't matter anyway. But you got to pay it. Yeah. So, John. Yeah. I, I have, I, I would kick myself if I didn't ask this and I may be way out of line here. Um, are you safe? Oh, yeah. You're yeah. good? Yes. Like, you mean, like, safe as an emotional? Like, am I being kept? Am I in a house? Like, is that what you're saying? I just want to make sure you're all right. Oh, no. I'm, no, I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Honestly, so I'm more than safe. Here's the, here's the path forward. I don't want y'all to mention Dave Ramsey anymore. Because Dave Ramsey's become, um, <laughs> it's become a third rail excuse. And yeah. it's easy for your husband to dismiss some old guy who's got glasses, who lives in Nashville. Like, it's easy just to dismiss that guy. And it's easy for you to not be honest about what you need and what you want and the dreams yeah. you have and just pin them all on this old guy in Nashville, Tennessee. And so <laughs> I want you to stop using Dave Ramsey as an excuse, as a marker, as a way to coerce or manipulate or push your husband into getting you what you want i want you to do the hard scary terrifying thing and be courageous and sit down and tell your husband i'm so scared i can't breathe i'm so scared that i can't live like this knowing that at any moment if you say the wrong dumb thing at work you're fired and we are out of our house that yeah. if I say the wrong thing at work and I get fired in this current world we live in, we lose both cars because we have nothing. Or we're about to get a judgment against us for X number of dollars plus lawyer fees plus whatever emotional damage the credit card company mm -hmm. thinks they've endured. And what's it going to take, husband? Because right now you're acting a lot more like his mom than you are his wife. Or even, a, can I, mm -hmm. more, maybe even a kid. Because do you want to know what my son does? My son will say, Mom, Z ZZ wants to watch a movie. ZZ wants to know if she can have ice cream. And that's my daughter. And so he pins it on her thinking he has a, be she has a, he has a better chance of getting it. He's being just a good, kind brother asking yeah. for a sister. But what he really wants is he, he wants to watch TV or a movie. He wants ice cream. And I so agree with what John is saying. When you pin everything on, Dave Ramsey wants us to get on a budget. That's right. Dave Ramsey, you know, and not feeling comfortable enough within your marriage to say, I want, here's what I want to do. And here's what I believe is going to help. You know, this Us. is just, yeah, this is, you know, and just being free and open to share. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes um, people nag and complain and whine to their spouse about getting with the plan and they don't get it with the plan because either one of two things, the person's not on the, like, you're not fully on either. You say yes to yeah. stuff too. Or you've yeah. got had a bunch of schemes over the course of your relationship with this guy. And it's like, oh, I'm going to do this. Let's do this. Have you tried this? Let's try this. And Dave Ramsey is just yet another scheme in a long line of, of schemes. So that may not be you guys. You guys have clearly yeah. gone after it and done it and done it and done it and done it. But at some point, you have to have the courage to look at him and say, I'm tired of being scared in my own home i'm tired of feeling unsafe will you be a part of building a new marriage where we are completely unified in this deal and we are safe together and then you can have the peripheral discussion after that which is well i feel safe with a credit card well i don't feel safe with a credit card would you feel safe with six months in cash in the bank so we're our own credit card yes i can buy that cool that's in the plan but you see how those steps become a part of how do you fulfill this new identity 
it doesn't become the reason why you do everything. We got to do the the baby steps. No, man, you got to get out of debt and keep your family safe. Yeah. Heal your marriage. The steps just help you get there. Yeah. You see the difference? Yes. Okay. I want you to hang on the line. I'm going to send you a couple of things. I'm going to send you um, Financial Peace University, the updated one, and it's going to be on me. And I'm going to send you every dollar, the best budgeting app in the world for a year, the premium one that links to your bank. And I'm going to send you a copy of Own Your Past, Change Your Future, my book on figuring out what do I do next. Okay? I want you all to read that stuff, go through it, and change everything.